Thank you so much. We're having such a great time. Made the short drive out to New Braunfels uh, today, just a couple hours, and we were here. And, you know, you can't talk about New Braunfels without mentioning the Green Historic District. And right now, we are in the legendary historic Green Hall. I am joined by its owner, Mary Jane Nally. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today on Houston Life. Uh, this place is so legendary 18, what, 78 is when it all began? Somewhere in that neighborhood, yes. <laughs> a lot of people talk about it as one of the most legendary dance halls, not just in Texas, but in the United States. Why, Mary Jane, do you believe it deserves that title? I think it just has a strong reputation from the very beginning of a social center that people gravitated to originally, and it still is that only more because as the population grows, we have more artists come, it's just a historic venue initially, but people love this place. It's iconic. They bring their kids after they've grown up. They've worked at the grist mill. They come back and bring their kids to the hall. It's a fascinating place, and people come here for all kinds of things. Wakes, weddings, receptions. Nolan Ryan had his birthday party here, his 50th birthday party. I mean, oh my goodness, it's iconic. George Strait got started here. Uh, Garth Brooks ha on his first tour through Texas played here. So it's just one of those things that just keeps building and building. Even John Travolta was here. You yes. mentioned Willie Nelson. There's a story behind the special Willie Nelson door here at Green Hall. Can you tell us that story? It's I a good one. Yeah, I can. I, you know, the first time he was going to play here, he was a little bit nervous because he knew this big crowd in the hall and there's not really any room to walk through it to get to the stage because we don't have a green room, right? It's just a little ante room outside the men's restroom. So... We, we devised this way that he could get in the hall quickly without, you know, ruffling his feathers. So we cut a hole in the chicken wire on the side of the building right by the restroom, and we created a, a st uh, steps out there, and so that's how he came in the hall. Well, it is such a great story, and to to date, do people still use the Willie Nelson door? Oh, for sure they do. In fact, his son Lucas played here recently, and he said, Dad told me I could use the door. Is it okay? And I said, sure. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, so. Before we leave today, we're going to see if Mary Jane will let me use that door. Uh, it's quiet now. We have a, a little bit of a crowd here. You open every day at 11 a.m. Who's playing tonight? Wade Bowen. He'll play tonight and tomorrow night. Fantastic. And you were telling me before the show, Mary Jane, it gets busy around 10.30 p.m.? Well, that's when the crowd gets a little haywire, right? Because, you know, we have an opening act usually, and then the, the main act comes on at 10 or 10.30. So everybody's had a few beers and had a chance to visit with their friends. And then they're here to hear, hear live music or dance a little bit in the background. I know owning a business like this uh, is probably a lot of hard work. You own several businesses right here in the historic Green District. A lot of businesses many of our viewers would know. We do. We own the Grist Mill, which is an 800-seat restaurant. It's most, legendary. Most people don't know about that, but it is 800 seats. sits right on the bank of the Guadalupe River. We have seven, seven different dining facilities. It's an old cotton gin, so it's a very iconic place to actually go eat as well. The water tower that is right outside, uh, sort of between where the grist mill is and Green Hall here, the water tower almost did not make it. Can Correct. you tell us a little bit more about the history of Green Hall? Because what's incredible now is when you step into Green Hall, it sort of feels like you are stepping back in time because the building has been virtually untouched since it was first constructed. Is that true? That is true. That is actually true. The water tower was created as it is now in the early 1900s because their uh, original water tower was too, it wasn't adequate. And so it was built in, in the early 1900s. And then uh, when we came, the guy that actually bought the town initially and was reselling things to us, for example, he was running out of money, unfortunately, and so he sold the water tower. And at that time, the water tower was also on the National Register of Historic Places because that happened in 1975, and the water tower issue was in 1977. So long story short, we spent 10 days in court, saved the water tower, and otherwise it wouldn't be here. It's an iconic 
marker to the town, obviously. It is iconic. And the history of this historic green district, I think, is fascinating because it went through some rough times. There were it cotton did. fields right. uh, that essentially went bad because of a weevil infestation. Is that true? Correct. That is and correct. then you had the stock market crash. Yes. There was a, a series of unfortunate events that almost left this area sort of like a ghost town, right? It, it certainly did. When we first came, it was not looking good. <laughs> And how did you have the vision to revive it? It, it? Because it truly is incredible. When we got in here today, not only was the drive beautiful, there are wildflowers everywhere, but people are wandering around, making memories together. There's like a nice slow pace here. So when you came here decades ago, it was very different. It was really a slow pace then. There were actually rabbit hutches in the beer garden. There was a cow out there. There was a washing machine somewhere on the grounds. So it was wow. really kind of in disrepair. And you know, it's really the vision of my business partner, Pat Molak. He really wanted to do something that had to do with music because he liked live music. He was not happy doing, being a stockbroker or a commercial real estate person any longer. So he had some friends that were looking for different places around the hill country and we started looking around and he found this place and that's kind of the short story. but. That's what happened. It truly is incredible. And I'm guessing that back then, Mary Jane, you had no idea that it would become such a legendary spot in town. Can we brag for a moment, by the <laughs> way, because you just received a Texas Travel Award and also, very exciting, you were nominated for Best Venue by the ACM, the American Country Music Association. Yeah, I'm getting chills now that you're talking about that. That is really an exciting thing. What was your reaction when you heard this news? I was semi-speechless for a while, and that's pretty unusual for me. Well, congratulations. It's well-deserved. Uh, before we let you go, special events during the week. You have something called Two Ton Tuesdays, Yeah, is that right? that's a really fun event. It's been going on for almost 30 years now, and Two Tons of Steel is a band that plays here on Tuesday night. They're rockabilly, and that this place goes crazy then. It's so much fun. Two Tons Tuesday. Uh, can I ask, do your feet get sore after owning a business like this? Because the song and the dance truly is, as you mentioned, people celebrate their weddings here. They celebrate wakes here, birthday parties, anniversaries. And you see people coming from all over the United States. We literally do. And internationally, quite frankly. I've been to Europe before and seen green hall shirts on people. You're it's kidding. Hysteric. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> what is that like? It's like, oh my gosh. So I go talk to them. It's really fun. Okay, any highlights we need to know about upcoming concerts throughout this season? Well, you know, Sleep at the Wheel, they're amazing. They were one of the very first bands that played here that was a bigger name in the early days. So they're coming back, of course, in the summer. And we just have a lot of fun regional acts, so it'll be great. Well, it is a legendary spot. Mary Jane Nally, co-owner of Green Hall. What a cool business. What a thank cool you. life you have. And thank you, thank you for bringing so much vibrancy and life to this lovely spot in New Braunfels. You're quite welcome. It's a pleasure. We're lucky to be here. We can't wait to hang around and hear a yeah. bit of live mm. music. I brought my dancing boots. Mm. I'm ready for that. Perfect. All right. Uh, well, once again, for more information, you can always visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Okay, we're going to shift gears now. And coming up, what would it be like to wake up and feel like you're in the trees and hear the sounds of a rushing river? We're going to take you inside a place to stay with a relaxing country vibe, a treehouse themed resort with suites to fit the entire family. And next, whether you are a water slide racer or a lazy river rider, you can spend days at Schlitterbahn. Trust me, you will never get bored. Lauren Kelly shows us what's happening at the water park this summer when Houston Life returns. Don't go away.